Hey guys, Rick here with Synergy Reef. Today I'm going to give you a detailed overview of our SK72. Our SK72 is our dual fleece roller mat Claire C sump. So you can run up to two SK5000 Claire C roller mats on this sump. This sump is 72 by 18 by 18 and comes in multiple colors. This here shown is the storm cloud. The SK72 has four inch and a half input drains. These drains go into a crash box, which then feeds the SK roller mats or the optional filter socks. You can change out the filter socks to four inch or seven inch, or you can run the SK roller mats on here. From the sock chamber or the roller mat chamber, it goes into the refugium. It's a nice big refugium on the 72 inch model. Refugium does have a polycarbonate lid on it, as well as the roller mat section. If you're using socks, you can put lids over the whole thing, but if you're using roller mat, obviously you can't put a lid over it, so you can only put it over the section you do not have a roller mat in. Inside the refugium section is the access panel. This access panel allows you to remove it, and then you can have access to the Clarice's drain section. This allows you to easily remove the input drain of the Clarices. They simply just unscrew and come out for easy maintenance. The refugium then flows through the passive baffle system. We've created a passive baffle system on the refugium wall that allows you to adjust the water level inside your refugium. So you can actually dial in exactly the water level you want inside your refugium and also helps silence the system so you're not getting any sort of water crashing or cascading over the refugium baffle. After passing through the passive baffle system from the refugium the water flows into the skimmer section. The skimmer section is pretty large so you can fit a majority of large skimmers in this section. For details you can look on the website and get the actual dimensions of the skimmer section. Inside the skimmer section are optional heater holders. These particular heater holders can hold any round style heater. In this case we're installing a 300 watt Eheim Jaeger heater. Inside the skimmer section is the adjustable baffle. This adjustable baffle will allow you to adjust the water level within the skimmer section up to a height that's appropriate for your skimmer. It can be adjusted from 6 inches all the way up to 10 inches. An optional feature on the adjustable baffle is our probe holder. Any sort of probe or sensor will fit into this probe holder very easily. We've included a spot on the Eurobrace for cord management. This will allow you to put a variety of different cords through the Euro brace and keep everything nice and clean. You could fit heater plugs, pump plugs, and pretty much any standard US plug. We also include four quarter inch push connect fittings. These push connect fittings will fit any quarter inch tubing. They make it easy to hook up auto top off systems or any sort of dosing. From the skimmer section, the water flows over the adjustable baffle. From the adjustable baffle, it flows into the media chamber section. The media chamber section has removable plates, so if you don't want to put any sort of media in there, you can remove these plates. From the media chamber, it flows into the return section. It's a nice large return section on here, so you can fit pumps internally if you'd like, or you can drill the sump and actually put external pumps as well. If you're going to run internal pumps, we can put the bulkheads on the top. In this sump, there's actually an inch and a half 
return and a one inch return. There's cord management on the back of the polycarbonate lid as well. There's also a polycarbonate lid over top of the return section. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit about our SK sumps. Our SK44, SK60, and SK72 all have similar properties. If you have any other questions, please let us know. You can put a comment down below or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.